All right, 33ers, I've realized that I've never given a full comprehensive tour of my music room, home theater, and home bar. So that's what we're doing in today's video. Follow me to the basement. So first thing, we've got some gig posters here. These are, they're mostly reproductions of gigs I went to in town here. Got the Reverend Horton Heat, two crazy shows, July 28th and 29th, for the life of me. I can't remember what year that was. Here's a reproduction of uh, KISS, played at the University of Manitoba, February 8th, 1974. This is one of their first gigs outside of New York State. This was always a good show I remember fondly. This is Motley Crue with Whitesnake at the Winnipeg Arena back in October of 1987. So I was really glad to find all these gig posters. Come on, check out the rest of the crib. This is an arcade machine. It used to be a Capcom bowling machine. I got a guy here in town who owns Phantom Amusements to convert it to a 60 in one game. Awesome job, super happy about that. So when we moved in, this was a roughed in washroom that we were using as just a storage room. So during COVID, I thought, man, I've always wanted a home bar. So tore the wall down, put a ceiling in, and we made a bar. Come on behind here, I'll show you what I got. So, obviously I'm a record collector, but over the past few years I have started collecting whiskeys and particularly rye and bourbon. Crown Royal, this is always my favorite drink and it's distilled in Gimli, Manitoba, about an hour's drive from here. So I always, I always have some Crown in stock. This is my favorite bourbon right now. It's not cheap, someone, a good friend of mine, Chris got this for me for Christmas. Uh, Baker's Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. 107 proof man this tastes like drinking a cloud of whiskey it's really good we got uh, crown royal it's a special edition northern harvest rye that's won all sorts of whiskey awards uh maker's mark bourbon from kentucky oh yeah here's another special edition of crown royal this is reserve this is a premium one Again, really really good i'm a fan of all that kind of stuff I won't take you through all my, my whiskeys, but I will show you my least favorite. I bought this because it was on sale. It says Wayne Gretzky Red Cask. Red Cask Whiskey. I don't recommend it. It's not good at all. Then we move into like the rums. Got some Cuban rum. Got some Bacardi. Then we go into the vodkas. We got the Crystal Skull. I believe this is distilled in Newfoundland. Got some Cabo Wabo tequila. Got a few things on the wall. I'm a big Crown Royal guy. So I got the Crown Royal here. I got coasters when we go to restaurants or whatnot. We like to take the coasters and put them on here. When I go to garage sales, I always look for beer and alcohol signs. So this one's for Budweiser. If you flip around this way, got a vintage original, um, welcome to Miller time, a Miller beer mirror. Got a Stroh's beer. I got a bunch of more beer signs in the garage. Can't have a bar without a popcorn popper. I'll show you the movie screen in a minute. We do a lot of movie nights down here. And we do a lot of popcorn. If you're gonna get one of these poppers though, check this out. You need these popcorn kits. I get these on Amazon. It's a dual pack. Everything you need for movie style quality popcorns here. You got the seed and you got the seasoning on this side. You got the, um, what do they call this? The, uh, the oil over here. Got a margarita machine, got a soda stream, got everything you need for a bar. Absolutely love this. I have zero regrets about turning a storage room into a bar. Some people might not dig it, but I like the wood here too. Gives it the basement feel, right? I kind of dig it. A couple more things. My daughter's behind the camera. She's pointing to things. I'm a big collector of skulls. Every time I go to Mexico, I get a skull. Let's see skulls around the basement here as we go through. Okay, let's turn around here. Let me show you what else is going on. Oh, check this out. Check this out. Excuse the computer here. I'm selling this right now, so just ignore that. But I actually found this at Home Depot of all places. This is an authentic Jack Daniels whiskey barrel. I'm a guitar player. We got guitars all over the house. This is uh, my Gretsch 2420T. I remember in a video I did once, someone said, you shouldn't just leave your guitars lying around, but we got guitars laying around our entire house. That's just, it's a musical house, right? You want an instrument there when you, when you want to play it. But this is the home theater. This is where we hang out as a family all the time. 
I'll take you through some of the bits and pieces of the room. Well, I always thought this artwork was awesome. My favorite horror movie of all time, Halloween 1978, the night he came home. I told you I dig skulls. When we go to Mexico, I always buy a skull. Here is the projector screen. This is a fixed projector screen. It doesn't roll up. It is, I can't remember the top of my head, if it's 100 inches or 110 inches. Over here, this is the audio setup. Got some Fluence tower speakers. We got a Klipsch 12 inch subwoofer. We got a um, Fluence center. The receiver is a 5.1 from Yamaha. Got the Xbox, that's what we used to play the movies on. And the kids absolutely love the Nintendo Switch over here. Here's the projector, it's a BenQ 1080. My goal in the next two, three, four, five years is to get a 4K projector. As you can probably tell, I'm a big horror movie fan. And these are replica masks from Trick or Treat Studios. And in October, well, I guess starting in August, you can buy these at Spirit Halloween, but they're awesome. What we have over here, here are The Thing, another John Carpenter movie. I love John Carpenter, The Ultimate Alien Terror. It's awesome. I'll introduce you to my friend Chucky. Charles, here is the movie collection. I've slowed down on my vinyl purchases in recent years because I kind of have all the back catalog records I want. So most of the records I buy now are new releases, but I spend a lot of time and energy lately buying movies. So I don't have a huge movie collection. I have no idea how many there are, but most of this cupboard is filled with movies. Let's pull a couple random ones off to see what we got. Universal Horror, gotta love that. Goodfellas, got the Psycho four-part Blu-ray series. What else? More Universal Monsters. I haven't opened this one yet. The Monsters Complete Series, Final Destination. Got TV shows, Three's Company, the entire series. Cheers, the entire series. Taxi, the entire series. Seinfeld, Knight Rider. Knight Rider, the entire series. Godfather. I only own one VHS, man, and you're not going to believe what it is. It's Halloween 1978. So you kind of got the way things are set up here now, and back in this corner, we got the, the, um, the music room, the Channel 33 RPM World Headquarters. Come on over here. So this is the room. You guys have seen this a million and five times. It's not a huge room. It's 10 feet by 10 feet. Here is where I sit when I record videos. You should have the video camera sitting here, and you can see the room behind me. What can I show you about the room? Let's go around here. It's another guitar. This is a Fender. I forget the name of this Fender. It's made in Japan. I'll leave the name below the screen. Awesome guitar, man. Awesome guitar. Beautiful. Beautiful. Love it. You probably have heard me play guitar before. The Channel 33 RPM theme song. That's me. Uh, okay, down here we got a PV6505 amplifier. Again here, my desk, this is where I sit. I got some, these shells, people ask me where I get these shells from. They're discontinued, but they were from Ikea. They were picture ledges, but Ikea has smaller ones that they have now. Similar kind of effect. Down here I got a couple, a pair of Fluence tower speakers. These edifiers up here are strictly used for a computer, for editing video, that kind of thing. Got some wall art. This one's kind of fallen. I gotta fix that. Back from the dead, vinyl back from the dead. I sell those, <laughs> little plug, I sell those posters and t-shirts in the Channel 33 RPM merch store. Here I got a PV6505 mini head. So I got the combo amp over there. Got the mini head over here. I got a Harley Benton 412 with Celestian speakers. Here I got a uh, second Marvel Super Special with Kiss. Got the Alice Cooper comic, and I have the original Marvel comic super special with Kiss from 1978, I believe. Here is my stereo setup. I've talked about it a ton. Turntable, this is all I'll ever need. This is my Techniques SL1200 Mark II. Here I got my uh, integrated amplifier. This is Marantz PM6004. Here I have my blue, what's it called? The Blue Sound Node to streamer for streaming music. Here I got my Moran CD player. This is a CD 6004. Here I got the monitor. I always switch up the image on here. Not always, but 
For most videos, I have the channel 33 RPM logo on there, but if I'm doing like, let me show you here. So here we go, I can switch up the images. So say I'm doing like a uh, Friday mailbag. I will throw this image up on the screen. It's coming up very, very slowly. There we go, Friday night mailbag. I got the logo. Those are the major ones. Here I got my Hitachi PS48 1978. This is a direct drive turntable. I love it. Here's a signed album I got from Joan Jett. I stood in line when I was 15 years old for like three hours. As for the records, I have 13 or 1400. They're stored on these white shelves from Ikea. The shelves are a mix of Expedit and Kallax units. I store my records alphabetically by artist and within each artist section, I store the albums by year of release. In terms of compilations and soundtracks and whatnot, they're on the bottom shelf towards the end, separate from everything else. People say, Frank, how many CDs do you have? I have no clue. I've never counted, I've never cataloged, I've never organized these. All I know is I've been buying compact discs since I was 16 years old. Got some box sets here, Sabbath, Whitesnake. If you're a Whitesnake fan, these box sets that David Coverdale has been putting out, fantastic, man. So much stuff on there. They are so freaking good. Are my CDs organized? People ask me, it's kind of organized chaos. It's not alphabetized, but I kind of know like Maiden is here. I kind of know that Kiss is here. I kind of know like Japanese stuff. The Japanese CDs are over here. That kind of stuff. These shelves are a bit loose. I got to fasten them to the wall. I'm fully aware of that. That will be fixed. And that is basically a tour of the entire room. I spend far too much time hanging out in here. And I spend far too much time with family and friends hanging out over here playing video games, watching movies, mixing some drinks at the bar, making popcorn. That is how we roll here. And that is a tour of the entire space. Thank you for sticking around with me. Cheers, guys. All right, 33ers, that's my space. I'd love to get your comments. Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. We'll be back again really soon. Until then, keep on spinning.